there, I'm Rev. And I'm Sam. And we are going around America's Great Loop aboard the Here's to Us. So today we went from the Sumter Anchorage down to Demopolis and we stayed at Kingfisher Marina. Yes, it was a 52 mile journey. With one lot and a lot of great scenery. This is kind of neat because it's trip number 70 and we kind of Whoa, figured, you know, oh uh, about what, 140 stops or like a stopwise. Yeah, we're for the whole trip. Halfway there. Miles though, we're getting close to 3,000 miles, Ooh. which we said 6,000 miles on the Great Loop. Yeah. Approximately. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, Stay boy. Stay with us here. We're going to have a 3,000 mile celebration. I think soon. that's why we sound more confident when we're making these videos. Yeah. We surely have learned something along the well, way. Well, what about last night in the Anchorage? Oh, goodness. Oh, uh, yeah. So take a so, look at this picture. Here's here's the kind of night we had. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's so, the anchor alarm, mm -hmm. the radius, and you can see a little bit of wind, a little bit of wakes. What uh, is that warning current. sign? I and, still don't know uh, what had that. Yeah, that yeah. was the track was on there. Okay. So anyway, uh, anyway, the captain was up <laughs> and checking things, and uh, I also had a Bluetooth to my phone next to the bed, <laughs> so I could kind of wake up with uh, you know one eye and go, hey, we're still in the circle. I do appreciate that. Yeah. So. Uh, so we got up really early and left that anchorage. It was cloudy, but not as cold. Yeah, and leaving the anchorage, we kind of tracked out our breadcrumbs. We were the first in, so we were the last out. Mm -hmm. Followed the other boats, and uh, we're on our way to the Heflin Lock uh, downstream. But on the way, lots of great scenery. Oh my goodness, yeah. just beautiful. The We're getting to the end of fall, uh, and so the leaves are are falling off a lot of the trees but in some areas it's still really vibrant yeah it's so like the, where the white cliffs of eps oh uh, my e -P -P -E -S, goodness i think that's the way you say mm. it beautiful and some really red vibrant trees that are they're still hanging on to their leaves it was just beautiful right. we did get waked by a boat that yes. was in a hurry and uh right. didn't call us at all just kind of zoomed by. He was a surprise. He came out of yeah. nowhere. But he, uh, fortunately, he got out of the way of of the cliffs so I could get a shot of, of those. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so if you're out there, uh, be respectful of other boaters and try not to wake them. Hi there. This is Sam aboard the Here's to Us, and you can tell it is cold. And we are on our way to Demopolis. We anchored in the Sumter Recreation Area last night. Got up at the crack of dawn and are heading uh, to Demopolis. It's about a 52 mile run and uh, it's cold and we are experimenting with uh, auto guidance on the Garmin and uh, we also have Navionics running its routing program here and I want to just kind of show you the difference between the two. I rarely ever run Garmin Auto Guidance, but it's doing a pretty good job here on the Tennessee Tom. It's kind of keeping us right in here. You can kind of see this magenta line. Uh, that is a boat behind us. I'll go back here to show you where we are. You can see the magenta line. It's tracking pretty good. And if I zoom in here, you'll see the channel line. This dotted line, so it's pretty close to it. Let me go back here. And let's take a look at the other program that I'm running on my smartphone is Navionics. And you see it's coming up here. We're coming up to a bridge. I don't know why it draws the line uh, red there to kind of alert you that there's an obstacle coming up. And also the Garmin will also do that. It will say potential hazard ahead. There's a bridge but the bridge is way up there, as you can kind of see in front of us. So that's the difference between auto guidance and Navionics programs. They are running pretty close together, but again, I don't trust them. So I'm always ready to hit this button here, which is standby, which will take the autopilot, disengage it and allow me to steer manually. Or if I wanted to, is I could also exit the autopilot tracking mode and just hit right or left. It would put me into the heading hold mode and still keep the autopilot engaged. 
All right, just a little bit more about your navigation systems on the Here's to Us and uh, trying to keep us out of trouble here on the Tennessee Tom. Anyway, we, we made it down to the Heflin Lock, got through there, and uh, then down to where we were joining is actually the end of the Tom Bigby. Yeah. Okay. Right. Cool. And so where the Black Warrior River comes in, mm. and uh, right there is Demopolis, and so we had to wait for a barge that was navigating down through the next lock, the Demopolis lock. We're north right. of that, where we're going into Kingfisher Marina, and then we had to maneuver and get into the fuel dock. We right. fueled up, mm -hmm. and then after fueling, back, back out, and then... <laughs> Over to the marina uh, yeah. through a channel uh, into the uh, into the slip there. Right, so. and the uh, dock master uh, she runs a pretty tight ship. You don't want to oh, yeah. argue with her. Just let her do her thing, yeah. and then you can do your thing after it she's is gone. Really a, it is really a great <laughs> marina, uh, mm -hmm. and they have a courtesy car there with lots of rules about the courtesy car. <laughs> uh, but we did find that comical, uh -huh. so we did get into Demopolis and uh, checked it out, and uh, I think we. Yeah. We ate some great Mexican food. Yes, there. we did. Surprising. Yeah, surprisingly. Yeah, really uh, good. But anyway, so uh, a really neat trip down to Demopolis, and our, our next trip will be, you know, getting up in the morning and uh, radioing the lock to see exactly what's going to happen because the lock is just outside the marina. So okay, we'll then. have to coordinate that and, and uh, not get up too early. Oh, I like right. the sound of that. Yeah. All right. We'll see you next time then. On the Great Loop. Bye. <laughs>